Hey guys, welcome to Cam's Tech Session again. It's a YouTube channel, KSM1313 Live. Today we are going to do really, really basic and cool stuff, how, how something's real in real action and very simple. So what's the topic? Salesforce Lightning, basic navigation, case management, okay? Here is my contact on uh, for any social media. Keep in touch, stay connected, keep commenting, keep supporting, and make sure you like the video um, and, and share with your colleagues and other team members and give me an idea of what other training videos I should make so that you can utilize in, in your training sessions. Here is the list of items I'm going to cover today and we'll, we'll see in action how it works and uh, I will walk through. Again, keep in touch while commenting with any social media channel and uh, We'll, we'll be in touch, okay? So let's see um, this all, all list basically in a real action on Salesforce. Um, I'm logged into Salesforce already, and this is a default page, home page on the Salesforce where when the user log in and they can see all, all the items and all the tabs on the top. But some people have a drop down tabs, uh, but again, depending on the business uh, layout, how they set it up. Um, if you want to do a real quick search on the left hand side, uh, for example, I'll give you one example like knowledge, you can search knowledge or second one is, let's say task, and uh, you can also click on it and you can see how many tasks. Um, again, based on business process, there are multiple uh, default and custom made list views you can see for the tasks here on the left hand side uh, with this screen uh, where you can you can go and, and select okay. Thank you. Let's go back to cases. As I said, this is all about the case. Um, so let's let's stay tuned with the case. So what we have, I click on the little drop down. I have a new button here, or on the right hand side, I have a new button here where you can create new cases. And also, so because I'm on the recent, if I'm on open, I have got more cases around 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 this. So let me show you something really quick and simple here. Uh, which is let's say this case number and this case number so both cases assigned to k k gmail right and i would like to change the ownership and i'm going to assign this to amber and hit submit look both cases have been changed and the person have received it and they must have received the notification okay but i will show you in in detail um uh, further as well how this all works so let's go to the re review and uh, yeah I'm back here. So case creation, again, new, depending on support, uh, what you selected, these are the default fields. And it's like a journal form, you go to anywhere. It's like a Facebook as well. When you're creating sign up for Facebook, you have to enter some field data. Um, again, subject is very important, nice and short about the issue details. Sometimes you receive as a subject in, in emails as well. So if you are creating uh, manually creating the cases in the Salesforce, get the short description in the subject. Long description will be in the description. If you want to keep put any internal comments for your colleagues, you can enter the information here. So this is all about standard and uh, default based on business process fields. Contact, account, uh, account your client or customer, um, depending on your business process again. The email, it was an email to case, was a web case, was it a, a phone number, depending on if you have any automations, it will automatically select it. If you don't have any automations that selected, then obviously you choose with your with your choice, basically what you want. Right, let's go to the case I have already already created here. So you can see that there are multiple uh, multiple items items here and uh, which which I can see in the middle of the screen detail page. On the left hand side, I've got related items, asset, case comments, knowledge. And on the right hand side, I've got related cases, case teams, article, email, files, open activities and attachments. And if there is anything about the case history. So case history is very, very important. Uh, future, uh, it's for reporting KPIs or anything, you know, as you change or assign or anything, it, it actually recording that it's a default functionality. Uh, again, so you can see the things in action, what, what time, who made changes. Okay, right, next one. So I have created the case. Now I want to change the ownership to someone else. I can simply go here and change the ownership, number one. Uh, 
so ownership changes here and I would put this to K and change the ownership. Look, the ownership has been changed. It's so simple. And so let's say previously when it was created, in this case, it was new and I want to change back to a sign. I can, I can put that and I can, again, let's say I sign this case and assign back to Amber basically. So, so Amber can look into the case, okay? But you still have opportunity. There is a shortcut button if you want to use this as well. You can assign from here and you can also, if you want to force the notification, you can also force the notification from here as well, okay? I want to now increase the visibility of this case to other team members, so which they're not involved in it, but because they are technically very expert and I want those guys to look into this case. So I would go here on the teams and little drop down, add teams, and I would add team one and hit save. So look, the team has been added, they can visual this case properly, their visibility, and they can see what was done, how many comments, how many articles, how many emails, how many attachments, everything, it will be visible to, the, to those members of that particular team, okay? Now imagine, Amber notice, uh, in the team one, we have a guy named Cam, and he's got really expertise to fix this problem. What she will do, uh, Amber will find a, a way to, to see if, if we can create a task for Cam. So here is a new task. And yeah, she can straight away and assign the task from here to Cam directly. Or some businesses, they have, they have queues as well. Um, so you can also assign this to, this to the queue. Uh, I'm just trying to search if I have any queue in the test environment. Uh, so, nope. Okay, and don't worry, uh, but it's the same way, okay? So people, I'm going to assign this task to someone and I would say in progress, and I would put help required to fix the problem. Okay, now the deadline, I would put something, maybe 24th, we need to fix this problem. Priority is critical because customer is not happy. Put the comments, uh, not happy, okay? and try to fix the problem. So Cam will get notification. And if you look here, on the right-hand side, the task is linked already to the case, automatically. I didn't do anything. It's automatically linked to the case. Okay, so yeah, you can open it. And now the person who got assigned on the case, that person will go, they will log into the case and they will look into the task person. I said, okay, I fixed the problem. And the person will come here and the status will change and from here, and then the task is completed. And whoever is the owner of the case will get the notify that I have completed this task. And also that person can put the comment, how did you, how did you fix the problem? All the steps can be written in the comments so we can send a resolution email to the client. Okay, so if you look at carefully on the task, we have all the default fields and the important ones are, who was the contact person, which is Ashley, uh, due date was 24th, priority was high, comment uh, was uh, to write the steps and, you know, finish, uh, the, how did you resolve this issue, put the comments, the final comments, and the status is, is, is completed, okay? So new notification will be floating around. So there are two different types of notifications as well for the task. Um, you will get this bell notifications. So Bell is, is, is normally work with the task completion and stuff. Um, you have to enable it in your, in your environment. Some environments does, some people don't use it. Some people use only email notification and some people use only Bell notification, depending on your business process. You can divide with different teams, uh, the, but then architects normally decide, decide those kind of solutions, how, how it should float. Uh, but yeah, uh, you can easily. It's for, but normally I know these notification on top of my head. It's for chatter and task. And um, yeah, uh, so that, that works perfectly fine. Okay. Um, it's, it's a good, good and handy. Uh, you can see all of your notification, like your iPhone as well. So it does have notification. Okay. So now, so what I do is I go back to my case, come here, and I mark this case as result because the person has resolved the case. So let's mark this result and hit save. <coughs> right, so look, all the bar is completed. I can see all green is completed here, but the case is still not closed. It's not hard closed, it's still resolved. 
Okay, so now how, how do we close this case is normally either you have a button on the right hand side, which I don't have is in this business process, I didn't cover the close case button here. But normally if you have it, follow that button. If you don't have the button, you can still close the case from here or some companies, what they do is they, they also use a uh, automation um, where let's say three days follow up, two days follow up or five days follow up, follow up. We haven't received the notification from the customer, close this case. Okay, so once the closest case is closed, it's just completely, completely closed. Okay, so now, yeah, I, I, in this business uh, scenario, I don't have the close button, but it's okay, you can still do it. Now, what happened is, let's say customer replied, um, as per business process, maybe three or five days later, customer comes back and email comes to the case. Uh, yes. So keep in mind, any email, if it's configured email to case functionality, that email will definitely come to the case and it will definitely notify to the case owner. In my case, case owner is Amber, or if it's case owner is a Q, Q will receive a notification if the case is still closed, okay? So what will happen is once you receive notification, um, that person, Obviously, because it's a hard close, you can't reopen it. You can clone this case, okay? So clone this case from here and it will replicate all the information, whatever is exists on the detail page only. Keep in mind, detail page information, it will replicate to the next case and, and you can join as a parent and, uh, uh, parent and uh, child case uh, on here. And that, that basically helps, okay? So all the related cases you can add, add from here. So this is 1137. So let's see what was the related case I had. Let me find out. Uh, it's not available at the minute. Okay. So again, I said business to business, business to uh, layout, it, it changes and this comes automatically and you can make relationships with the, with the case, right? Same time, the articles work same way. If you know which articles, or I know the subject line have been selected on this one was um, uh, the hard drive something related. So let's see, where is the subject? Uh, here is hard drive faulty. And I can see hard drive faulty related KB articles are appearing and you can simply either go on it and, and review. This is how it is. Or you can also attach this KB article here and and it will it will attach on on the screen on the right hand side uh, here attachment on their KB articles here so let's attach it yeah look article appears here you can also detach if you don't like it there is normally option comes in to detach the KB article also the again with the business process some people do have enabled the email content so where you can enable the KB articles for for the email Okay, so again, as I mentioned, this is a short video how to navigate things. So we need to navigate to the next tab, which is reports. So these are all my reports. So you can see all folders, how many different folders I have. Based on your visibility, you will see those folders and, and click on it and I can run the reports from here. So let's say I want to see life cycle of the case. So this is how it looks like uh, somebody created it. And if I want to add the filters based on it, I can add show me all cases or show me my cases only. Okay, I can do these kind of tweaks if I if I'm allowed. And if I see all cases, look, the figures changing, uh, I can see more cases, Amber and Cam. And if I click my cases, uh, I, it will it will change. It's, it's a really cool feature for for the filters, filters the stuff. Okay. And I can see different, different reports here um, from the old folders. I go to the case team. And so close open cases per month. So, so look here, yeah, this is magic. So obviously these are the old ones, but in, in May this month, I have created one case only. Okay, now let's go to dashboard. So I have one dashboard. So I have a folder created. You can have multiple folders. So case so let's go here dashboard is very very cool thing as well so you can set up a uh, per client how many cases open you can see the dates accordingly so these are my top clients how each month how they're creating the cases so 
this is how it looks. You can add up to um, 20 components um, in the dashboard. And, uh, and, and yeah, it, it's, it's really, really handy. Um, again, I said this month, the one case, and uh, uh, that, that's why it's showing it's really bad number. But yeah, it's, it, it reflects from the report. And if you want to see the report related, so if you can see little small hy uh, hyperlink, if I click here, that will take me straight to the report. So what was the clear report? And uh, you do have, if you want to see the more flat, more detailed information, there is a little, little detail button. You can see, uh, for example, uh, this company, Americas, uh, sorry, go back. Um, so here I can highlight this and it, 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 it shows me how many different type of cases have been created with this, okay? So that, that, that reflects different, different items, different um, uh, drill, drill down um, stuff, basically. You can, you can see by account name and hit apply. It, it look, it works. So, so Burlington Corporation, I selected drill down after drill down by account. I, I can see this was the case created. So it's, it's magic, right? Um, but it doesn't mean it's impacting other people as well, but you are doing on your one. So this is only on your screen. Okay. When you go back, you can still mm -hmm. see the same reports out there. And, and it's, it's just, it's not impacted because you haven't made any changes. Okay. Still there. Right. So nice and simple. So um, yeah, so that's it for today. Um, so what we, what we covered is, is the navigation of around the case reports, dashboard knowledge, and accounts and uh, and contacts um stay in touch uh, if you have any questions or anything please comment and uh, we'll be in touch again um let me know if you have more more ideas we'll we'll cover it cheers guys have a good one and keep follow up and like the video and comment see you bye guys thank you so much for watching the video um please don't forget to subscribe and comment and uh, give me more ideas also, I, I do have a link for all my social media contact, which is also on this slide. It's linktr.ee slash ksm1313 live. Thanks again. See you on next video, guys. Thank you. Bye.